fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. One of nature's most terrifying forces is drought. Here on Sunstroke Mesa, no rain had fallen for months. The hot, scorching sun beat down mercilessly, laying men and cattle prostrate. Prayers for rain were on the lips of everyone as the drought spread like a plague. I'm telling you, Vic, this drought's been special made just for us. Mesa City's like a ghost town. This heat's driving everybody off the street. By the time the sheriff gets up a posse, we'll be halfway across the Mesa. And tracking us won't be easy. Matt's right. That ten-stroke Mesa lands hard as a rock. Matt's right. Matt's always right, isn't he, kid? Lay off him, Vic. Why? Because he's your nephew? Because he nods his head like a dummy every time you open your mouth? I said lay off. Sure, sure Matt, sure. Easy. I was only joking. You gotta understand how I feel. I'm proud of that kid. I taught him everything he knows, and I taught him good. Ain't that right, Johnny? You bet, Matt. Oh, you're getting the supplies, Tunnel. I'll take this money to the lawyer's office. Then I'll meet you back here. Now, you remember Lone Ranger say not tell who money from. Sure, Tunnel. You know I always try to do what my uncle tells me. Uh, me no. Me just make sure. <laughs> Mr. Croft? That's my name, boy. What's on your mind? My name's Dan Reed, sir. I've come to make a donation. A friend of mine wanted me to be sure you get this money. He knows how important the irrigation project is. Well, say, it'll be a lifesaver, all right. And once it's done, the Mesa farmer will have enough water to see him through droughts like this. Who did you say was making this donation? I didn't. It's my friend's wish to remain unknown. Say, well, it seems to be quite a sizable amount. I'd better get it into the safe right off. Well, sir, I better be going. Riding out again in this hot sun? Yes, sir, it's not too far to camp. Well, I'm much obliged to you, boy. And tell your friend, whoever he is, it's a mighty decent thing he's doing. I'd be glad to. Hold it. You make a move, I'll kill you. That means you too, Slim. Keep him covered. Oh. Irrigation is the only hope we got to save in our land. Stealing that money is worse than murder. Just you stay quiet, Slim. Come on, let's go. You all right, sir? Yeah, yeah I'm all right. Come on. Let's go. Get after them. There's nobody in town even saddled up in this heat. They've got too much of a start. My horse is saddled. I'll try and follow them. But, uh, uh... What happened, Drop? Some no accounts held us up and stole the irrigation fund. That nervy young fella took off after them alone. He won't stand a chance. If they reach Sunstroke Mesa, you know how tough it'll be to track them. Yes, I know. That's our job. All right, man, saddle up. Let's go. Something wrong? Ah, uh, me bring bad news from town, Kimisabi. Where's Dan? Him go after outlaws. Me not have chance to stop him. Outlaws? What happened, Tunnel? Well, me go into store after supplies. Dan take money to lawyer Croft. Yes, go on. At the same time, three outlaws ride into town, follow Dan into office. Rob lawyer of irrigation money. That project isn't built by planning time next year. The farmers in this area will be completely ruined. That's right, Kimisabi. Did Dan go after these outlaws alone? Ah, uh, him go alone. That was very brave of him, but a very foolish act on his part. We must find Dan before any harm comes to him. Outlaws head in direction of Sunstroke Mesa. It's plenty hard to find trail there. Yes, Tonto. Dan doesn't realize how treacherous that sun can be. We'd better hurry. What's the matter, Johnny? 
I'm sorry, Matt. I can't go any further. Sure you can. You've got it. I can't. I gotta rest. I told you it was no good taking him along. If we stop now, that posse will catch us, sure. Those rocks over there. If the posse catches us, we can fight him off from there. Tie his horse out of sight, Vic. Get off, Johnny. What are you gonna do? Hey, look, uh, Johnny. There's no sense in all of us getting caught. There's a lot of money in that sack. Match, you're not you're not gonna leave me. Sorry, kid. You'll have to take your chances. Vic and me will come back for you if we can shake that posse. But what if they catch me? They won't. Not if you stay out of sight behind these rocks. Matt, please. Just take it easy, kid. Stay out of the sun. If we can, we'll come back for you. Please, Matt. Don't leave me, Matt. Please don't leave me. Matt! Please, Matt! Matt! You'll be all right. How'd you get shot? I was on my way back from Mesa City. Three outlaws spotted me and started taking pot shots. You live around here? Yeah, with, with my uncle on the other side of the Mesa. Lucky you weren't killed. Yeah, with that son up there. I reckon I would have died anyways if she hadn't found me. Think you can make those rocks over there? Yeah, I think so. Where are you going? Get some first aid equipment out of my saddlebag. That army of yours needs looking after. I'll be right back. What's your name? Dan. Dan Reed. I'm Johnny Barton. Glad to know you, Johnny. Same here. You a doctor or something? No. But a friend of mine taught me first aid. Meanwhile, far back on the scorched mesa, the Lone Ranger and Tonto continued their search. Sorry, Kimisabi. This ground too hard to show tracks. Yes, Tano, I know. And yet I feel the Dan and the outlaws are on the mesa somewhere. Let's go. Tasted good, Dan. You're a mighty fair cook. Thanks, Johnny. You know, I don't get it. How come you're doing all this for me? What's your angle? Does there have to be an angle? My uncle says nobody does anything for nothing. You know, you've been doing an awful lot of talking about this uncle of yours. Ever figure he could be wrong? Not Matt. He's never wrong. What's he raised you to be, Johnny? A rancher? Or what? This gun will get me anything I need. Do you really believe that? 
Or is this your uncle talking again? Well, what if it is? You know, Johnny, there's something he forgot to teach you. Yeah, what's that? How to think for yourself. <sighs> you sound like a preacher. I'm serious. Everything you say is something your uncle told you. How about your own ideas? Well, what do you think? Look, don't worry about me. I'll do all right. Maybe. Maybe nothing. A man's as big as his gun. You see that tin can out there? Mm-hmm. What's that supposed to prove? Proves I can take care of myself. Can you do any better? Possibly. How'd you ever learn to shoot like that? My friend taught me a few things besides first aid, Johnny. Posse from Mesa City, Team Sammy. They're heading back to town, Tano. Giving up the search. Some stoke Mesa are plenty bad place to find trail. Yes, Tano. That's why they use it. We've got to find Dan. It'll soon be dark. If we don't find Dan by nightfall, we'll camp here in the Mesa and continue our search in the morning. Uh, we find him, Kim Sammy. If Dan falls into the hands of those outlaws, he'll be in great danger. Come on, Tano. <laughs> Dan, you better be getting on home. Your friends will be worried about you. Expecting your two friends back? What do you mean? You know what I mean. The men you were with when you held up Lawyer Croft and stole the irrigation money. How'd you know? You're not a very good liar, Johnny. What do you plan on doing about it? You're the one that has to do something about it. Yeah, like what? Go back with me. Give yourself up. You sure must think I'm awful dumb. No, Johnny. I'm hoping you'll be smart. If you're not, you'll be running forever until you're caught and strung up. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't really figure they'd give me a break after helping in that robbery. That robbery in Mesa City. Was that your first crime? Yeah. I'm sure you'll get a break. Bombmen are human, Johnny. You'll get another chance. Look, Johnny. You and I are about the same age. With the wrong kind of guidance, I could just as easily be in your boots. I know if I were, and I had a chance to start over again, I'd sure jump at it. Yeah? You can stop the sermon now, sonny boy. Matt! Hiya, Johnny. I told you we'd be back. Who's your friend? Name's Dan Reed. He saved my life. Well, that was real nice of him. Yeah, wasn't it? And from what we just heard, it sounds like he's trying to save your soul, too. Real pretty talk. Not pretty, mister. Just the truth. Don't hurt him, Uncle Matt. You wouldn't listen to me. I told you to get out. What do you want to do with him, Matt? I'm going to take him with us, as insurance. Is that all right with you, Johnny? Anything you say, Matt. You ready? Sure, Matt. We'll head north across the Mesa, then through Sutter Canyon. That'll get us out of the territory by sunup tomorrow. Come on. the matter? My horse has gone lame. First you and then your horse. When are we going to get anywhere riding double? We won't have to. Get off your horse, kid. Come on, get off your horse. What are you going to do? You need pictures? You're taking his horse. But Matt, this son, it'll kill him. We can't leave him out here. Why not? He'll make good buzzard bait. But Matt, he saved my life. Come on, kid. We got a sack full of money that needs spending. What are you waiting for? Mount that horse. I said get mounted. I'm not going, Matt. What? I said I'm not going. Maybe you taught him too good, Matt. 
He's getting ideas of his own. Look, kid. You do what I say. Not anymore, Matt. I'm through listening to you. Why, you ungrateful little punk! Let him alone. Get over here, kid. Turn up! Vic, bring me your rope. What are you gonna do? You made your choice, kid. You wanna stay? You're staying. He's your own kin. You can't leave him out here. Can I? Just you watch me, Sonny. Time up, Vic. I'm sorry, Dan. I really got you into something. Don't start feeling sorry, Johnny. We're not through yet. You figure your friends might find us? They sure do. But it won't hurt to try and help a little. Help? How can you do that? I can't. But maybe Victor can. Good boy, Victor. Now go find Silver. You really think you can bring him back? I don't know, Johnny. But it's sure worth a try. <laughs> that sun's awful hot. I sure wish there was something we could do. There is. What? We could pray. Yes, Otto. Let's hope we're not too late. Come on, boy. Lead us on. Come on, Victor. Get there, boy. Take care of Johnny. Who is this young fellow? He's one of the outlaws who stole the irrigation fund. It's a long story, sir. The other two are headed for Sutter's Canyon. And uh, we passed through there many times, Kimisemi. Yes, Tonto. I'll go after them. I know a shortcut. You take care of Dan and Johnny. We meet in Mesa City? Right. <laughs>
can't thank you enough for recovering that irrigation money, mister. It isn't thanks we want, Mr. Croft. The Mesa City farmers are vitally important to this territory. Dan Reed told us what young Johnny here did. I think we can get him off with a light sentence. I'm ready to take my punishment, Sheriff. I got it coming. If it hadn't been for Dan, it'd been a lot worse. Staying with him on the Mesa took a lot of courage, Johnny. But you made the right decision, and you'll never regret it. Good luck to you, son. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Johnny. Thanks a lot, Dan, for everything. Adios, my friends. Goodbye. Now, if you had an uncle like Dan's friend, son, you'd be a lucky boy. I sure would. Who is he, anyhow? Didn't Dan tell you? No, but he's sure proud of him. He should be. The masked man is the Lone Ranger. I'll 